Okay. So here, in this part, we are going to resume to talk about how to restore the membrane potential. So these are also events happening at the neuromuscular junction. Okay. These are still events happening at the neuromuscular junction. I know I skipped uh, these slides, especially the one talking about the T-tubule and how the action potential will uh, travel through it. But I will come and talk about them uh, after I finish. I believe it's um, it's better to go through this way to talk about how the plasma membrane, how the sarcolemma is going to restore its membrane potential. So this is still part of the events at the neuromuscular junction. We are going to see now end plate potential. Now end plate, the end plate, this one, is the area of sarcolemma beneath the axon terminal. The area be, be the the area of sarcolemma sarcolemma beneath the axon terminal. So we are talking about this area here, for example. This is the end plate. Okay? This is the end plate. Or here, this is the end plate. Good? So now we are going to see some events happening there in order to restore the membrane potential. So remember that the sodium ions, they got inside, they flipped the charges, right? So this generated action potential. Now, the muscle itself has very limited control over the sodium gated channels. Why? Because they are open from outside, from acetylcholine. So we need to get rid of acetylcholine. The muscle has to wait on acetylcholine to, to how to say, uh, to be dislocated, to be removed from the synaptic cleft and of these gates in order to close. Till this happened, all of the muscle inside is positive comparing to outside. And that is the disturbance of the membrane potential. And that's what creates the action potential. So now, how after this is removed, after the acetylcholine is removed. By removing acetylcholine, now we are the, the sodium gates are closed. Are closed. But before before this step, actually let's go it, let's do it here. So we said there is the uh, the sarcolemma. This is the sarcolemma. Oops, no. The sarcolemma, sodium gates. Let's extend it a little bit. And we have also potassium gates. Now, this is after, just to confirm, just to make sure. This is after ACH removal. Okay, after ACH removal. Let's put it here. After ACH removal, the sodium gates are closed and the, the potassium gates are also closed. However, Inside, we still have sodium and we still have potassium, okay? And uh, the charge is, is still inside is positive, outside is negative. Now, for, for the muscle, this situation is not homeostasis. The muscle is extremely mad about, about this situation. However, it will take some time for it to get rid of all of these sodium ions. So it, it, it has to allow these potassium ions to go outside because the muscle has, a, has control over these potassium ions. So what will happen, we'll draw another one. Oops, 
Sodium gates are still closed. Now the potassium gates are going to open. So now potassium gates open. This will allow potassium to rush outside. That is simple diffusion because outside we have less concentration of potassium. Now allowing these potassium ions to move out even when still we have the sodium ion but just allowing these potassium ions to move out this would restore this will lead to restore membrane potential okay it's exactly like a, as a balance if you have a scale and you want to keep the balance if someone added to here for example this is heavier you need to add to here if you remove from here you need to remove from here however here in with the muscle uh, it's the other way around uh, you add uh, these muscles you uh, sorry you add these ions you flip the charge sorry you flip the charge now you have to restore it by re letting these potassium ions going outside and restore the charge now we can track these changes and actually maybe um, another way to say it how did the scientists like figure this out by simply tracking the changes in the voltage across the membrane potential Remember that the membrane potential at rest, it was positive inside, negative outside. Uh, sorry, positive outside, negative inside. And that is, gave us like a value, uh, a voltage value. So when the scientists tried to excite that muscle, keeping these electrolyte, uh, uh, electrodes uh, to measure the changes in the membrane potential, they tracked these changes and they figured out later that it was the sodium and potassium so what are the different parts of action potential let's go back to here so for the base for the phases of action potential here is the resting membrane potential this is the resting membrane potential Okay, the value is minus 90 because remember at rest it's minus inside, positive outside. Then there is a stimulation, came. That stimulation le led to the sodium channel to open. As sodium ions are entering the muscle, that caused a depolarization depolarization of the membrane potential what does it mean depolarization remember it was polarized at rest but now it's losing its polarization it's moving toward more positive value and it will keep going all the way like from minus 90 to plus 30. so around this area around the peak here is when acetylcholine esterase already removed acetylcholine and that caused the, the sodium channels to close. And immediately potassium channels will open. When opening potassium channels, we are going to see a decrease in the membrane potential value. And that is repolarization. That is the repolarization caused by potassium ions leaving the sarcolemma or leaving the muscle fiber so the steps or the phases of membrane potential we have depolarization as a result of sodium ions getting inside sodium ions enter so depolarization because of sodium ions enter why the sodium ions enter the muscle the muscle fiber because the sodium channels are open 
Why the sodium channels are open? Because acetylcholine came through the synaptic cleft. Why the syn why uh, the acetylcholine came through the synaptic cleft? Because of the vesicles and because of the action potential that opened the calcium ions uh, channels on the axon terminal. So we ended up here. Now the sodium channels are open. Sodium enters. That causes depolarization. We said this is a situation where the muscle is not happy about it. It's not its homeostasis. So it has to wait till acetylcholine removes all of these sodium ions that will cause the sodium channels to close and the muscle will open the uh, uh, potassium channels. That will lead to the potassium ions to leave the muscle fiber and here the muscle would restore its polarization. So it's repolarization. Now the muscle is turning, you know, like just slightly turning to homeostasis when the channels are closed so here the muscle restored its membrane potential and the muscles will be like super happy about it okay now i uh, just uh, remember that the time here we are talking about milliseconds so this happened within 20 milliseconds within 20 so it's extremely fast within 20 milliseconds extremely fast and technically the muscle at this stage here is ready for another action potential so there will be another stimulation that will cause again depolarization repolarization restoring membrane potential if there is more uh, stimulation again we will see depolarization repolarization and so on so muscle contraction basically is uh, a repetitive action of or repetitive uh, yeah uh, a series of these action potentials happening at the sarcolemma okay and remember this is happening at the motor end at the sarcolemma now each one of these uh, action potentials would lead to contraction so each one of these action potentials already move down through the t-tubules but it ends here at the surface it ends and it's ready for another stimulation but already it sent the signal down so with each one of these action potentials there is a contraction a new action potential will lead to contraction a new a third action potential will lead to contraction okay so just make sure that this is clear in your mind that all of this, it ends here at the, thus, uh, at the sarcolemma. It doesn't mean that there wasn't contraction. No, it, there was a con contraction. But it ends here or stops here or restores the membrane potential in order to be able to get another action potential and uh, to contract. Good? So let's move now back to the T-tubule thing. Uh, here now for oops sorry actually you know what uh, I will stop the video here I will start a new video talking about um, uh, the transmission of the signal from the sarcolemma to the um, down through the tubule